everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am going to show you how I am making a baby blanket. Now, a couple of months ago, my friend told me that her daughter is pregnant. So of course I was going to make a baby blanket for her as a present. But which one to make and she didn't tell me whether it was going to be a boy or a girl. I tried to find out a couple of months later, but no, they were keeping it a secret. So what do you do? Now, a couple of weeks after that, Zoe, one of our moderators, showed me a neutral baby blanket that she made. Oh my goodness, was it gorgeous. The colours she chose were such unlikely colors to go together but they did so well together so of course of course I asked her can I use your colors and also can I do you know the same pattern because I thought it was just so effective and of course also I asked her would it be okay to do a video so Zoe here is your idea worked out in a video and thank you so much for coming up with this wonderful color palette and for the efficient and effective use of the star square the anna star square and yeah look at what a gorgeous baby blanket this is i mean it's such a uh, lovely colors neutral colors they will go with any nursery colors with any any gender of baby basically so um, yeah I set off and I started making my baby blanket as well it's going to be hard parting with it but I've got the video I can always look back on <laughs> okay so for this blanket Zoe decided to use Lincoln gold cream pistachio and parchment together in a combination so it's all starcraft special decay it is prescribed for a four hook but as you know i usually use a three and a half and yes so we are going to be making the anna star squares in these colors today i am going to be showing you how to make the square and in a second video, I will be showing you how to join the squares and what border to put around it. So what else do you need? I've got my hook here, which is a three and a half. I always use a three and a half for Starcraft Special Decay. So it is prescribed as a four, but see which one you usually use. Scissors and of course, a darning needle. Okay, so let's get started make your slip knot whichever way you usually make it insert your hook and you're going to chain 38 so yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so that's three four five So now we are going to do a double crochet in the sixth chain. So one, two, three, four, five, and this is the sixth chain. So you yarn over, insert into the sixth one, and you pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So we've now made the first box. So first of all, we are going to make a row of boxes. Then I'm going to show you how to do the four row repeat that you will need to complete the square. So let's do the boxes. Chain one, skip a chain, and into the next chain, you're going to do a double crochet. There we go. Chain one, skip one, into the next one, double crochet chain one skip one double crochet in the next and this is how you are going to continue all along your row here 
and in the end you should have 17 boxes. Just doing my last box here, skip one and there's a chain left to do the double crochet. Always a little bit harder this last one. There we go. So first of all we are going to chain three, one, two and three. Then we turn and we're going to get started with a double crochet on top of that first double crochet here and in fact we are going to be doing seven double crochets in a row so you just keep doing your double crochets putting them either on top of the double crochet or around the chain space until you have seven in a row there we go See, look, I've done my seven double crochets. Now I'm going to do a box and we will need to do a chain for that. We're skipping this chain here and then we are going to get started on doing another lot of seven double crochets from the next stitch there. So that is on top of that double crochet. Once again, you're putting them either on top or around the chain space. There we go. So that's my second lot of seven double crochets. Now we're doing another two lots and each time we put a chain so we create a box. And here of course I'm doing another lot of seven double crochets. another chain for a box and then our last lot of seven double crochets. Now of course we have to make a box at the end. So chain one. You're going to skip one of that turning chain below and then into the next one there you're going to try and pick up two strands so that you can put your double crochet in there. So we start our row with a box and we end our row with a box and of course we do boxes in between the sevens. Now row two of our four row repeat is going to be chain three, turn, this time we are doing three double crochets and then we are going to do a box. So one, two and three. And of course I started on top of that first double crochet there. Now I'm going to do a chain for a box. You skip a stitch and then you start doing your three double crochets again. Chain one, skip here and you do three double crochets. Chain one, skip a stitch and three double crochets. And this is how you are going to continue all along this row. and then of course we end the row with a chain one skipping the v there and a double crochet in the next stitch there we go okay so now for the third row of our four row repeat 
chain three, one, two, three, turn, skip this one, start working in the first double crochet with a double crochet. Well, in fact, with your sequence of seven double crochets. So I'm doing my double crochets here. When I get to the fourth one, I'm just going to do it into the chain space. There we go. And then you continue working your double crochets there. So you've done your seven, then chain one for the box, and then you start already doing your seven double crochets for the next lot. Chain one, skip the chain space and start doing your seven double crochets. And of course we do this four times. And you do the box at the end. And now for our last row of our four row repeat, we're going to do a boxes row. So one, two, three, turn, you skip this stitch and you do a double crochet in the next stitch. Then chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip this chain space here, double crochet in the next. And so this is how you are going to continue throughout this line here. And then of course the last one. Find a location in that turning chain that is good to put that double crochet in. So there you have it. So this is the first repeat finished. So now you're going to repeat this another three times. So first of all, you do a row of seven double crochets. Then you do the row of three double crochets, seven, and then a boxer's row. <laughs> So now we're going to put the stars on. I've put three stars on every uh, square and I have obviously used a selection of the colours that we are using in this baby blanket. So I've put some yarn on my darning needle. It's about 60, 80 centimetres that I'm going to be using. It's too long, but um, I'd rather have a piece of yarn that's too long than too short. And what you're going to use for this star is one of these squares here. So this is the square you're going to work around. This is the hole you're going to go into. And every hole here on the outside of this square is going to be used. So to get started, we are going to put our yarn or our needle through this length here. So you're going to start in a corner box and you're going to get to the middle 
and this is so we can sort of weave in the end so you'll be seeing it peeping through but we are going to lay a layer over it so you won't see it so carefully pull it so it's tucked in so that's now woven in so you can't well there's a little bit here but there is a little bit there as well so hopefully in a moment when we do our first star arm or whatever they call it star burst look this is going to lie over that little bit here and here as well that's lying over that one and now we are going to go into every hole along this square each time going back to the middle and i'm laying them nicely next to each other i am not pulling it i'm just laying them nicely just sort of not tight but just laying neatly across the surface i would say see there we go and each time you go back to the middle to create your starburst. Oh, no, and <laughs> that's two in the same hole. So I'm going to have to come out again. There we go. That should have gone in the next one. There we go. And I've just been doing a couple of colors on each square in various locations so I just thought whatever looked nice was fine there we go and yes I've got too much there but that's okay right so I've done my star burst now now I need to get rid of my end of course and we're going to do that in the same location as where we started so this time I'm going to go into the same or near the same place where I came out earlier trying to pick up as many inside the bodies of the stitches as possible so you can't see it running there nor too much here can you see it and then what I do is I come out just about next to where that yarn is lying there and I pull it through like so making sure it's I can see this one tightening so I'm fine there that's tight enough and then very carefully I cut off the yarn just at the tip there and so this here contains my start my end and one of the star bursts and this is how I have done all the stars on all the squares <laughs> Now you have to decide how many squares you are going to make, what your layout is going to be, and of course how big your blanket is going to be. So have fun making your squares. I will be back in the next video with how to join them. I am going to do the quickest join in history and I am going to show you what border I am going to be making as well. So these are the colours for the baby blanket that I am making. We've got Lincoln, Gold, Cream, Pistachio and Parchment. And I am selling this pack in my web shop. And I am selling this as a pack of 15 colours. So there's three balls of each colour. This will be plenty to make a baby blanket or even a single bed size blanket. If you're interested in this pack, do go and have a look at my website. for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!